Howdy, y'all. My name is Price. I'm coming at you with some more Stardew Valley. Let's check what's on the news. I am back from Texas and ready to rock in the world that is our little farm. Let's see. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. Then we'll take place on the beach starting between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. Don't be late. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Um, so I read all of your comments down below. Uh, let's check the fortune teller really quick. Mm, spirits feel neutral today. The day's in our hands. All right, works for me. Um, let us. Where is my watering can? There it is. Do da do 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 do. So apparently this was a waste of time leaving these up. Um, some people said to leave them up in order to get the get them to grow to the big size. And some of y'all down below said that in fact it's actually just a um, a chance upon growth, which is what I had, uh, understood it to be. Uh, first hand, uh, but uh, apparently that uh, apparently I was right, and uh, it's not going to grow. But oh well, we tried, right? And that's fine. All right, so most of these plants are not going to grow anymore because it is day 27. Um, I should honestly water stuff today if I feel like it. You know, if I think that like maybe I'll get one more yield tomorrow, uh, and then just go and uh, get my watering can upgraded if I can. Um, I think that that would be a smart move to make before the uh, next season starts, when we got the time for it. So we'll try and do that. Um, also, I had a big major um, suggestion to um, uh, do a specific kind of fishing. Apparently I'm about to run out of an opportunity to get uh, one particular fish, so I will be trying to do that today just because of that unique situation. Um, and it seems like the day is the appropriate type of day. Oh, come on, let's point that way. Um, so, we're gonna try that. And I am gonna leave these melons in the ground, mostly out of principle now, um, but also just so like we can have it completely, no one's confused going forward, we're all on the same page. Yes, it does work, or no, it does not. This will, um, this will prove that regardless. Okay. Oh, no, that's not gonna work. Do this way. Oh, out of water. Of course, I'm out of water. Look at all these batteries, though. All right, let's check on our chickens, and then we'll uh, we'll come back and water that last guy and all these guys. Um, do 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 do. Hey y'all. Hi. 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 Okay. You. You guys had to stay inside yesterday. That's no fun. All right. I always like to leave the hay out just because I can. Um, I have been playing a lot more on my other file. I kind of got, you know, reinvigorated by this game. Uh, and so I um, have been, uh, I've played now through, like, halfway through winter on one file. Uh, and so I um, have learned a little bit more again about the game. And uh, that's pretty good. And I think that should help us going forward that I've actually seen, you know, certain things that happen, certain kinds of uh, events and whatnot. Um... Because I do think in this game it's better to be able to plan ahead, plan around that kind of stuff. All right, we got our preserves a going. What do we have in terms of um, mineral resources? Oh, it's going to be up here. Duh, in the chest that I put over here. Okay, let's see. People are telling me I can smell aquamarines, um, so I should do that. Let's try that. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Um, okay. Uh, quartz is really good. Oh, we could actually build. I didn't realize I had so much gold. We can actually make some, uh, some things. All right, first things first, let me get some more quartz cooking up. Um, quartz is a key ingredient for those sprinklers. Requires one coal. I'm out of coal? What? I'm out of coal. Shoot. All right, so we're definitely gonna have to be going mining again. Um, but let us grab some iron, because I would like to get this copper watering can up to snuff. Let's put those away. All right, uh, let's keep on watering. Um, oh, there's another battery. My goodness, I'll grab it all the way over there. So, um, while we're watering, what are we what are we looking at here? Yeah, y'all got y'all left a whole bunch of great uh, comments down below, a bunch of suggestions. Uh, like I said, uh, one of which was to um, go and fish for a puffer fish. So I will be trying to do that today. It should be coming up on that time frame pretty quickly here, actually. Um, and so we'll go and try and do that. And then we'll also go and um, get our watering can 
um, upgrading because then it'll be ready by the first, or should be ready by the first, uh, and that'll be perfect for us to set up our farms for next season. Um, if we can get some good mining done, I don't think we'll have enough time before the next season. What I'd like to do is, like I had said before, be on that full sprinkler system. Uh, that's definitely one of our ultimate goals. I'm uh, really hoping I get a nice big yield off of these guys uh, tomorrow. That would be nice. Uh, but yeah, it's almost, it's almost noon already, and you have to fish between noon and four on the beach. So that is what we're going to be doing. Um, unless the, the Night of the Jellies thing is tonight, in which case we might be screwed a little bit on that because you can't access any of the places when they're setting up for these little events. So, yeah. Um, okay, let's do that. And did we, we bought the, yeah, we have the high level pack. Um, I always have to remember like what my different files have in this game. Okay, put you away. Uh, we'll sell a whole bunch of this nonsense. And uh, other than that, we're good. So, do, 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 do. you guys suggested that um, for beekeeper houses, I need to um, put down flowers next to them. So I'll definitely plan around that with our um, where we go forward with our farm. Um, basically, what I'm learning is that uh, let's hold on to some hops. Um, do, 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 do. Um, I need to make the mayo machine. We'll do that when I come back. Uh, do I still need golden corn? I might. Let me uh, go into our special chest. Nope, not that one. This one? How many gold coins do we have? We have plenty of gold coins. All right. Um, what was I talking about? Sorry, I haven't had my coffee yet today, so I'm a little, little out of it. Mayo machine. I need to make the mayo machine. We'll do that when we come back. Um, wood, stone, earth crystals, and copper bar. We should be able to make a few of these, which will be great, because it really does up the value of your um, eggs quite a bit. Right, give me one second. Gotta get this delicious, delicious coffee into my veins. Um, people asked about those trees, growing them that close to one another. Uh, with regular trees like this, they don't need the spaces in between them. They can grow up, and as one of you pointed out down below, half of them will grow to full height. Half of them will only grow to, like, the um, medium height thing. Um, but that's fine. Um, and I can chop some down if it's uh, being a little too cumbersome. I might actually do that just to ensure that they grow symmetrically like the way that I want to see them grow so um, so yeah all right we're at the ocean and I'm gonna start fishing for the next three hours I guess and hope that we get a puffer fish hey a book I need to go read a lot of books huh yeah one of y'all suggested that I should actually go and read about all the stuff in the um, uh, what you call it in the um, Museum. I should actually go and like look at some of that stuff. So I, I probably should do that at some point. I don't know if we'll do it this episode, but at some point in the near future, I will likely be doing that. But let's get some fishing done. Boop -a boop. Are you really gonna do this to me? Come on. Give me a puff of fish. Give me that puff of fish. So I think I'm doing this right. It was supposed to be summer at the ocean between 12 and 4 p.m. on a sunny day. Come on, puffer. Be a puffer. Do, 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 do. Because then we're done with you. Do, do, do. Not a puffer fish. Red mullet. I'm wondering if maybe it has to be like on a specific part of the ocean. Maybe I should go to the, the other side where it's the like little coral beach. But, oh, God. Oh, jeez. This fish is um, a, little, a little jackass. I'm not going to be able to catch ones like that. My goodness. Whoa, I hit it. Oh, come on. I pressed the wrong button. I right-clicked instead of left-clicked. <clears throat> I wanted to check my bait. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get it. Or if we don't, it's fine. Because I know you can also sometimes buy them from the um, the traveling merchant lady. So um, that is also potentially an option for us is that she may have puffer fish at some point, And then we can just buy one, you know? Uh, tuna. Still not what we're looking for. Come on, Puffer. Oh, we got some glasses. I don't think I have a recycling machine yet, so it doesn't really help us out that much. But the recycling machine is actually pretty great. You can actually you turn all that trash into some pretty useful stuff. Um, so uh, not a bad use of resources once we can. Oh. Ah. I want the better rod. Another red mullet. All right. I'm thinking that the 
The pufferfish dream may be just that, a dream. Oh no, you know what I just realized? Shit. 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 Oh, uh, Clint's place closes at four. Clint's place closes at four. Screw this puffer fish. Clint's place closes at four. Gotta get over there. Dun dun. Gotta get over there. Dun dun. Cause if I don't get over there, then I won't get my better watering can. Oh man. Whoo okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Weave through, weave through, weave through. There we go. Oh man, I almost bunged that up. Oh, he's still working on my pickaxe. Shoot! Shoot! I forget we did that yesterday. Dang it! And then I screwed myself out of working at the fish. Dang it! <laughs> well, that's all right. That's all right. It's not going to be a huge loss that we can't um, get our watering can upgraded right away. <sighs> it is going to stink a little bit. It'd be nice if we could. But it might also mean that maybe I'll spend the first couple of days, like I'll buy some crops, get them planted, and use. Well, shoot. No, because you got to be watering them. You got to be watering them all the way along. Yeah, that's going to be tough. Because I could skip a couple days, is what I'm saying, to get the watering can upgraded. But it might be honestly smarter to just now stick with the copper can, wait until um, winter, and uh, and then that'll be that. Hmm. 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 Well, we've used most of our energy. Let's. Uh, we're holding on to those hops. We'll sell this muscle. Actually, let me hold on to that real quick, just in case we need it for one of our Junimo bundles. I think we're still working on that. Um, no, we got the crab pot. Okay. So ocean fish, we have a tuna now, so I can do that. Um, specialty fish. So this is what we're looking for is the puffer fish. We didn't get it, and we're not going to be able to get it tomorrow, so that's, that's all of our opportunities for that over. You know, kind of sucks, but it shouldn't be a huge deal. Night fishing bundle. Plus these other ones, allegedly people were telling me that you have to get these from some um, other locations that are unlocked from Junimo stuff. So, uh, okay. Well, oh well. Well, oh well. How are we doing with Mari's relationship? We've done all of our stuff there, so that's fine. Uh, let us... Let's see. Put you away. We will put you away. Right, yeah. And, oh, and then hops. Did I keep any hops? A little more hops. Um, and then we'll sell most of this stuff, and then I think we will... Oh, we'll build our... Of course. We will build our mayo machine. Um... And you'll just sell all that nonsense. Okay. Mayo machines. I need copper? Copper, wood, stone, and earth crystals. Okay. So where's our wood and stone? Here's our wood. Stone's going to be up here. N stone. Copper. We have one copper bar. Shoot. So copper is what we're limited on right now. Interesting. Well, that happens. Um, well, we'll build one at least. Okay. And eventually we will build a whole bunch more because I would like to have essentially one mayo machine for each um, animal I have in the coop so that I can turn all of their eggs into mayo because it's, uh, it's just way more valuable and all it takes is time. But if you pop them in at the beginning of the day and then uh, you know go and do your stuff, they'll be done by the end of the day. You can sell them. It's great. So I'm going to just put them like right here and uh, we'll... Do that right there. Get some mayo going. We'll sell off these eggs as they are. And here, I'll mess with these trees just for um, just for the sake of not blowing everybody's minds. All right, we'll do that. 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 Come on. Okay. And just in case, we'll move this guy over one. Uh, like that. Okay. So the same deal here. Boop. Uh, so in the fall, I will definitely be working towards um, kind of strategic or smart decision-making when it comes to our planting of things uh, in kind of more organized fashion. And I really want to start working around this idea of getting tons of these little sprinklers because I think that um, once we can do that, that's really going to open us up to some pretty awesome future stuff. But we're going to go to bed for the evening. Uh, it's in 15 minutes of a day. We could have done maybe a little bit more. Could have gone and like looked for Maru and maybe said hello. But um, I think we're fine. Hey, we leveled up. Mmm. Seed maker and quality fertilizer. Hey. So that seed maker thing is something y'all told me about with those rare seeds that I should be um, concerning myself with. Um, 
and so that I can create more of those seeds, or the ancient seeds, I guess, maybe. So um, definitely something we'll be looking into. That is a for show. Okay. Made a good chunk of money. And now it's our last day. Oh, let's, uh, let's check the weather. Queen of sauce. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bread. Cool, I can make bread. Awesome. Weather reports. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Uh, and fortune teller. Doo -doo -doo. Spirits are mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on our side. That's fine. <clears throat> Hopefully I can still go to Clint and get my thing back. Tonight around 10 o'clock p.m. a rare and beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight Jellies will be passing through Pelican Town on their long journey for the winter. Uh, we're all gathering at the beach to watch you. Don't want to miss this. See you tonight. Okay. Uh, got nothing out of these. Got a little bit of stuff out here. These obviously did not grow. So, that's this is the end of all these crops. I'm not even going to water them today because what is the point? So, apparently leaving the chicken coop door open is actually a you know, bad deal. Shouldn't have done it. Um, I guess they get like a little perturbed. Uh, but that's fine. Do, 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 Come on. Give me all your stuff. Do, 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 do. Okay, okay. Finally picking these dang watermelons. But yeah, if I can get my pick, then I can just go mining, and we can really work towards getting a whole ton of gold, a whole ton of uh, other stuff, and uh, hopefully put ourselves into a really nice position for uh, for that. All right, did we get? We got five gold melons. That's exactly what we needed, wasn't it? I think that's exactly what we needed. Let me check the um, Junimo bundle, quality crops bundle. Five melons, and we have five high quality corn. And if next if next season if we get five high quality pumpkins, then we clear this one. That's really good. Cool. All right, so we'll leave those five in there. Um, and you know what? This passion fruit that I, or the star fruit that I've been keeping around, I just realized if I make the seed maker, I can totally use that and make more of those seeds. So seed maker, how do you make that? A gold bar, some coal, and some wood. Do we have, okay, we do have one of these suckers. So I will start turning some wood into that, into some charcoal. Uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit more just in general. Okay, uh, we'll sell you... Someone wanted a melon as well, didn't they? Mayor Shore, see the bottom. Pam is crop research. Bring Demetrius a melon. I can do that. And we can bring George a hot pepper as well. So we'll bring George that hot pepper. Ah, I said Gus last time. I meant George. All right, so we'll hold on to you. And we will um, sell everything but one of you. And then what about these tomatoes? Do I need tomatoes for any of my... Fall crops? No. So we did the summer crops already, and that was what I think the tomatoes needed. Artisans. This will be once all of our fruit trees grow in, or when we get honey or jelly or cheese. We also we should have some jelly, right? Or I'm making jelly right now. Um, so we'll we'll get that eventually. Um, okay. I think we're good to sell this stuff off. I know you guys will you'll let me know if I screwed this up. But sell y'all and y'all. We have plenty of hops, plenty of berries. Let's get all the money out of it that we can. Okay. We will the 28th there's that part of me that's like do we upgrade the watering can or not I think no I think no as much as I would like to I think no um, maybe I'll upgrade the axe because I do actually find the axe being upgraded really useful especially if you get it to like the golden quality um, so let me do one of these do 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 all right I'm gonna go gather the eggs so that I can um, put some into the uh, mayo machine. Do Ooh, we got large eggs. Nice. So, large eggs. This is great when I've done my research. Large eggs actually produce um, gold star mayo. So, using large eggs to create that stuff is also useful. But, I do want to hold on to one large egg for the Junimo bundle. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Which, maybe we'll just do that today. <clears throat> Goodness, my voice is cracking. I'm... Like I said, just got back into town, and am thus a little, uh, not perfect. Do you need this for one as well? We might. Maybe this. Um, are all of these for Junimo Bundle stuff? Why do I have a tomato, then? Let me check those. do 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 It's winter foraging. Yes, so I do need to take that. Okay. Um, what about... Construction? Haven't done that one yet. Um... Animal bundle, fall crops bundle. It's the, whoops, that's the fodder one. That's the dye one. This is, is that for the as well for the um, winter foraging? No. What is the frozen tier for? Geologist bundle. Geologist bundle. I think I might have done that one already, but maybe not. Do do do. 
Red quartz. Oh, the fire quartz. Oh, that's why you guys were complaining about it in the comments. You guys were telling me down in the comments uh, about like, oh, there was a fire quartz right there. You should have grabbed the fire quartz. Oh my god. Uh, and I was like, well, I mean, fire quartz aren't that hard to find. Why are people freaking out? I totally get it now. I totally get it. <laughs> yes, we definitely needed that. Um, but oh well. well, we'll get it soon enough. Um, so I do need to take this one. I don't need to take this one. We can do all that. So we're going to go give things to... Um, is this an artisan thing? Mayo? It's not. Dang. Is it uh, animal bundle? It's not. Okay. Uh, so we'll just sell it. Um, so we're going to go give the stuff to Demetrius and to George. And then we're also going to... I'm going to hold on to that for the animal stuff. Um, and... Yeah, we're going to give the hot pepper to George, and we're going to give Demetrius the melon. And then we will do Junimo stuff. Uh, and what else? I mean, we got to kill a lot of time until the, um, what you call it tonight? The Dance of the Jellies or whatever. So, I'm also going to um, get our pick back, and we'll go down into the mines for sure try and slowly get towards that other stuff. Again, I need to get a better sword. I have 27,000, and by tomorrow we'll probably have another good chunk of money. Um, so I, I may be willing to buy myself a higher quality sword, even though we could potentially find ourselves uh, a better sword at some point. All right, what's this one? Pantry, artisan bundle, animal bundle. Okay, so I know large egg goes here. Okay, um, I also have quality crops bundle. Is that this one? There it is. Okay, so melons and... Corn. Okay. Then we have a fishing one, the dye one, the fodder one, the winter foraging. That's the one. Okay. Do do winter foraging. You can tell I've been playing this game when I like know these challenges by name. <laughs> oh man. Alright, let's do this. Uh but yeah, like playing on my other file, I've been having a lot of fun with uh I think it's ocean. Um with learning a whole bunch of more stuff about this game. Uh, field research is one. Oh, that's what it was. It was for field research, not for the dyes. Oh, I can give him a frozen geode as well. Uh, dyes, we're good there. Fodder. Fodder. That's the one. Okay, so now we just need three apples, and then we're good with Marnie's. Um, okay, I think that's that. I think that's that. Okay, so let's go see... Demetrius, who's probably up a little bit north of us, and then we'll go down south and we'll find George, who's usually in the middle of town, and then we'll go see Clint and get our pickaxe back, put our axe up to be upgraded, because I do think that that'll be useful to have upgraded, and then uh, from there, oh, no Demetrius here? Nope, there's Mario. Oh, there's Demetrius. Perfect. Here you go, buddy. Perfect. Just what I need from research. It's going to be hard not to eat it. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome. It's good to take a break from work now and then. I guess it's kind of difficult when you live on a farm, though. Hey, at least in the winter you don't have to worry about crops. Yeah, winter is going to be an interesting time for us. We're going to be getting a lot done in a very short amount of time, I think. We'll be um, burning through days, just mining, 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 and whatnot. Hey, Maru. How's it going? Uh, I bet you're growing some interesting crops right now. Dad has a lot of exotic plants growing in the valley this time of year. A new friend! Oh, we're, we're officially friends now. Awesome. Yeah, we reached level five. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right. Working on that relationship. I hope Demetrius doesn't blow the house up with his science experiments. I'm not even sure what he's working on. I think it has something to do with plants. All right. Um, okay. Perfect. So then we go find George and Clint. And then it's to the mines. I should go stop by the... Um, Adventurer's Guild and see how much those swords cost because I feel like I could drop I could drop 10 grand on a sword and not feel too bad about it 20 grand ugh, That's seriously cutting into our next season's uh, Seeds and whatnot so uh, who knows Lewis I should say hi to you I don't say hi to you enough. How you doing buddy? Say are you growing any blueberries on your farm? I do enjoy a fresh blueberry. Oh, well, we've given up like all of our blueberries this season, but it's good to know that you like blueberries, my friend. I will be gifting you those in the future. No question. Clint, my friend, how's it going? Steel pickaxe. All right, that's going to be awesome to have. Receive a steel pickaxe. Upgrade some tools. Let's get the... We don't have enough gold anyways. Let's get the steel axe going. Thank you. 
Okay. Uh, we don't have anything on us for Gunther. I should have brought all the Gunther stuff so that we could go and uh, donate. And But you know what? We'll do that maybe on like next episode. We'll like donate everything and also go and actually like read some of the stuff about it. All right, where is George? He should be up by his house, right? Why am I walking through the graveyard? Come on. Okay. Do, do, do. Do. Do, 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 do. George? Where you at? Do, 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 do. Where's George? Hello? Sweet peas are in bloom right now. They've got such a wonderful fragrance, haven't they? Oh, do you like sweet peas? Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. You're welcome. Very welcome. But where's your husband? Where's George? Nope, that's Pam. George! George! He might be at Pierre's. I feel like I've seen him at Pierre's a couple times. Alright, well, it looks like we're not going to find George today. I don't want to waste too much time. Let's check the saloon. He could also be here. Nope, just Gus. Alright, we're going to... Um, we're going to go out of the mine. So, uh, I can show off something that you guys pointed out to me that I think is actually going to be very useful. Oh! First things first. Uh, the dwarf guy, the gnome whatever guy in the um, mines. You guys are totally spot on about the dwarf scrolls. Uh, if we collect all of the dwarf scrolls, then we will... Um, I say scrolls or scrolls. Scrolls is a marble thing. If we get all the, um, there's four scrolls. If we get all four scrolls, then um, we will learn how to speak dwarvish, and we can actually start speaking to that guy. So, um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, for now, we're not in that kind of a position. Okay, let's take the bomb with us. Uh, let us. I don't need this down with me. I don't need the hay down with me. I'll keep the pick or the pancakes for uh, energy. And uh, I guess I don't need these or this. And I don't need that necessarily, but we can keep it. Okay, let's do it. All right, how far down are we going? 85. We actually got pretty far down. Goodness, didn't realize. All right, I want me some gold. I need copper as well, honestly. No, wrong position. Boop. Okay, two shot in these, not so bad. It's better than like three shot in them like we were before. And they're probably certain, oh, there we go. Hello, okay. Creepy shadow man. Stay with me, shadow man. Man, they can just rush up on me. It's tough. All right, you, Mr. McKeels and Mr. McMagics, not okay with you. All right, you're dead. Okay. Ooh, I like this music. Ah, there's some ports. Awesome. So basically, we're on quests for copper, we're on quests for gold, we're on quests for all the different mineral resources. As we slowly get more, we should be able to um, uh, upgrade quite a bit of our stuff and also get to a higher level of mining, which will be useful as well. Okay, come on. I'm getting used to like picking out like, oh, this one's a one-shotter. So always hit the one-shotters just for the chance that they'll turn into the, the way down. Surprised there were so few enemies on this level. All right, now we're looking for a way down. Oh, the thing I wanted to show you guys, uh, and this you guys told me about this, so we're gonna try it out here. And I want you guys to let me know what you think about this. Um, zoom buttons, what does that mean? <gasps> How cool is that? Look, we can zoom out. Look, I didn't know you could put little zoom buttons over there. That's cool though. So, what I'm gonna try and do is when we're mining, use this because it gives us a much larger view of the mine. Um, downside, it probably makes it harder for y'all to see uh, everything as clearly, because I know a lot of you guys watch our stuff on mobile, so um, it might be difficult for you guys to watch. But I also know a lot of you guys don't even, you know, you're more like listening to me and kind of having this on in the background while you're working on other stuff. So I want you to let me know if this like zooming in thing completely busts it for you. If you like it more, we could play the whole game zoomed in if you guys think that this looks better. Um, I actually have been on my other file, mostly because it makes it easier to lay things out when you have this bigger scope. But it'll also help us when we're organizing our farm to like know, oh, yeah, back off jerk. Um, to let us know, you know, kind of get a, get a more global view uh, of our farm. God damn, this little guy is kicking my ass. All right, um, let's eat a pancake. Everything gets better with pancakes. Everyone knows that. How are we doing on time? It's 4:40 p.m. 10 p.m. We need to be at the beach, right? Something like that. Something like that. Okay. Let's keep 
busting through stuff. So like right now, it's like we already know that we've seen everything. I didn't have to explore as heavily because we can actually just look around uh, like that. Uh, okay, how many bombs do we have? We have just the one. I'll be sure to use it. So bombs do kind of like destroy resources from time to time, to time to time. So I should use it to clear rocks rather than uh, resources I actually want. Um, we're actually getting a little bit of gold just from these regular rocks too, which is nice. Uh, and I think that that increases with uh, your skill level, as well as the luck factor from the um, uh, fortune teller. Get out of here, 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 get out of here. Yeah, one of y'all was suggesting to use the mallet, but um, you the comment that um, uh, was made in reply to that, you had it spot on. I like the speed of attack. Overall, I think the DPS is higher when I'm using the um, sword simply because of that. DPS bonus that um, because it's attacking so quickly. All right, we're gonna use a bomb here just to try and get us down to uh, the next level quickly. Kablooey! See, not not even that. Well, we got some geodes. That's good, but that didn't even get us a, a freaking ladder down. Man, this was not the best of mining adventures, and we're already running low on time. Probably get down one more floor. There we go. But I doubt we're going to get down uh, all the way, if you know what I mean, down to the next uh, checkpoint. That's fine, though. We're definitely mining faster now that we have the uh, iron pick, which is super helpful, super useful. Um, okay, let's bust through here. 30 minutes in. Just got to keep looking at my time because I, I can't I can't do full <laughs> hour long episodes at the time. So we'll probably it'll be a two day episode. So that means next episode will be the beginning of fall. So that'll be cool. Um, so this one was all about prepping, and the next one will just be like all new crops, all new everything. You guys make uh, great suggestions. Um, we're gonna do a lot of cranberries because we saw how good the blueberries were this time. So we're gonna really focus on cranberries as a big thing for next season because I think they work roughly the same. Um, we are going to. Uh, obviously we'll go for all of the stuff that we need for the different crop bundles. Um, we'll be doing, we'll be doing quite a bit. Hopefully we will have, um, plenty of money around basically for that. Okay. Because I do think the cranberries are pretty expensive. Uh, as you might expect, much like the blueberries, they should be expensive because of how powerful they are ultimately. Uh, oh, there is a way down. Perfect. Oh, back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. Back off, thank you. Alright, Mr. McMagic Pants. Got you. I should call him Mr. McMagic Face, honestly. I mean, look at him. Okay, um, let's do this. Get this gold. We'll go get this gold. We'll pop this sucker over here, and then we'll just head on down, and we can then start heading, making our way towards the beach. Perfect. Absolutely flabulous. Let's go! What do we get? Obsidian Edge! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes! 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 That is freaking cool! We got a better sword, which is exactly what I wanted! We're gonna be killing all kinds of things. It does like three times the damage. Its minimum is higher than the maximum on the Iron Edge. That's awesome. Okay, we're leaving you here for now. Actually, you know what? We can take everything back. We'll leave the goal, the glow ring there. And we didn't pick up any more uh, bombs, so that's fine. And yeah, we're good. All right, let's make our way down to the beach. By the time we get there, the Jelly's magical, wonderful mystery tour should be happening. So that'll be good. Uh, I know I didn't talk any psychology today. I know a lot of y'all don't even really like the psychology talk. That's fine. Uh, you guys did come up with some good questions. We'll, uh, we'll talk about them uh, at least you know in one of the next episodes at some point. Um, because I have a feeling that next episode, with it all being, uh, you know, all the brand new fall whatevers, uh, it's going to be something where we um, really have to spend most of our time just doing fall stuff. Talking about fall stuff, talking about what we're upgrading, what we're doing, etc. Abigail, why aren't you at the beach for the thing? Come on. Everybody's got to go to the beach. Hope Maru's there. It's here, right? Oh, I see. Okay, so not everybody comes to this one? Oh, yeah, okay. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm too old to enjoy something like this? I remember seeing the jellies once as a little girl. Oh, how I jumped with joy when they arrived. These candles are romantic, aren't they? Oh, 
Pierre, you dog. Psst. Make sure to swing by the shop tomorrow to get your fall seeds. He's always hustling, that guy. What up, Harvey? Well, summer's over. To be honest, I'll be happy to say goodbye to these blasted mosquitoes. Like how I just give him my voice. <laughs> I'll just sneak up when the jellies arrive. I don't want to bother anyone. Well, I'm so... Linus, I always feel bad that Linus... He thinks so poorly of himself or like how people perceive him and that he shouldn't. Hi, Maru. It's kind of cold, actually. I guess fall is right around the corner. I could give you my coat. Huh? Yawn. <sighs> it's past my bedtime. The Moonlight Jelly. What a remarkable species. We're very lucky that they stop here on their long journey south. It's unknown whether they're attracted to light. Very curious. Hey, did you see the candle boat? I crafted it myself. Alright. This is Leah. Hey, I'm paying my respects to you. Another bygone summer. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny, like, on uh, on Twitter and stuff like that, pretty much everybody is all like, Leah, 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 Leah. Uh, and I'm over here like, man, what are you talking about? Maru is where it's at. All right. How'd you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. Perhaps you're blessed with the gift of clearing the lens. Actually, I should make him sound like, I'm like Captain Jack Sparrow or something. I'm here to observe the lunar lures, or moonlight jellies, as you call them. They possess an unusually potent magical aura for an aquatic life form. Okay. I think I'm looking for Lewis, right? Lewis is the guy who gets this stuff going. Where are you at, Lewis? There's Marnie. And Gus and Pam. Okay. That's a heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'll stay over here near the beach. <laughs> Can't believe summer's over. I feel like it just started. I got I gotta talk to everybody just to get our points up. I should have brought my camera. I always forget. I don't know if it actually counts when you do it here, but I feel like it should. I wanna see the rare green jelly! Life is so easy for a jellyfish, just letting the waves carry you onward forever. Gus, what up? More like jellies. I wonder how they taste. <laughs> I'd never try it, of course, probably because they're poisonous. Don't tell Gus, but I'm a little disappointed there's no buffet tonight. Oh, Pam. You've got very simple interests, Pam. I thought I saw something moving in there, something big, something dark. Just trying to scare you. Such a rare and exciting thing. Wonder if they're poisonous. Probably, bro. Venomous, likely. Maybe I shouldn't push Sebastian in the water after all. Yeah, there's a difference between poisonous and venomous. Uh, has to do with what they act upon. All right. The jellies were here a year ago, and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing. Hey, look at you being all positive about something. I'm glad about that. I hope there are babies this year. Willie. Most night fish should be scared of the light. These are strange ones. There, I just saw something glowing. Oh, it's gone. Look out there at the endless sea. Deep underwater, all kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark. Eerie, isn't it? I wore my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. I think Emily might have noticed, maybe. If we keep polluting the oceans, the jellies will surely go extinct. It's already in the process of happening. What a shame. We have no respect for nature anymore. I'm with you, brother. I'm with you. All right, let's get the show on the road, Lewis. Good evening, Price. The moonlight jellies are close. I already saw one glowing in the distance. Once we launch the candle boat, they'll come up to the docks and say hello. What do you think? Should we launch the boat now? Yeah, let's do it. All right, what's the haps, Caps? Give it a go. Oh, hey, look at that! Got a couple of them coming up here. Can I move around? I can't move around. Ooh. That's nice music. So pretty. Well, that's a lot of them. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'd be terrified of this. Hey, look, there's babies! You get to see the babies, Jazz! Yay! Oh, what's that? That's the rare green one! Wow! Cool! Super cool. Is it coming to me? Is it coming to see me? Because I'm the chosen one or something? <laughs> 
I do feel like a lot of this game is all like your character's super special in some way. Wow. That's cool though. I wish something like that would I could see something like that in real life. There's like those phytoplankton things where like the plankton comes up on the beach and it glows. I'd like to see that someday. The glow of summer is faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. All right. Let's zoom back in to regular size. I think it's like this. I, I don't really know. Let me check. Options. What are we zoomed in at? We're at 90%. I want to be at... No. 100%. There we go. All right, now we're at normal size. So let me know like what you think about this size compared to the size that we were just using a moment ago um, because I would like to know what to do going forward. We'll stick with regular size for now. Um, and we're going to quickly run over here, grab our mayo, close this door, and uh, head on in for the evening. Um, so uh, with all of that, let sell you. Goodness, we gotta make it inside. Okay. So with all that, thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to give this video a like, a favorite, and subscribe to the channel. My name has been Price. We're gonna go to sleep for the night. Let's see what we got. Nice another little chunk of money. That'll pay for our upgrade to our uh, our axe. Um, so yeah, let me know about the zooming thing. Uh, be sure to ask your questions down below. Uh, and give me all tips and everything like that. We're going into fall. Now, I am probably going to record that next episode, uh, likely right away. Um, so it may be one of those things... Uh, where I don't get to see your um, comments right away, but I will be uh, hoping to incorporate them uh, eventually. But uh, what I am going to be doing, so you guys know ahead of time, cranberries, big deal. Anything that we have to do for any of those um, challenges, so like pumpkins, we're going to get a lot of pumpkins so that we can hopefully get uh, finish the quality crops bundle. Um, and we'll grow a little bit of everything to start with, but by the end of the season, we'll probably just have fields and fields of cranberries because those seem to be major money makers. All right, y'all. With that, thank you all for watching, and I will see y'all next time.